One of the things we haven't given our user the possibility to do is to upload a new avatar photo and I intentionally didn't do this in the last lesson because I wanted us to see how we upload images very easily in Lavo 5.3. So let's go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is actually set up our edit.blade.php so it accommodates an avatar. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that our form has an encoding type and this is gonna be equals to multi-platform data so that we make sure that that image is coming in the upload the next thing we're gonna do is actually include an avatars field so this is gonna be upload avatar and the name is gonna be avatar and it's not gonna have any value and we'll just make sure that this is not required in case the user doesn't want to change his avatar and this is gonna be type of file and one thing I'm just gonna add here is accept equals and I'll say accept everything that is an image only okay so if we go ahead back to our application and I log in go back to my profile and edit my profile okay there I have it the upload avatar field is there so so the next thing we want to take care of is actually the uploading the file so first we have to check if the request has a file so if the request has a file of avatar and that should be a small i then we just go we'll just go ahead and upload this and we'll make sure that it's uploading to the authenticated user and we're just gonna call the update method and we are gonna be updating the avatar field and this avatar field is actually gonna be taking the name of the file that we just uploaded now how do we upload files in level 5.3 level 5.3 ships with a new method called store and the when we if we access our avatar and we precise of the file that we want to upload we can just call the store method and this store method automatically stores it into our storage and it stores into the default disk in this case our lookout disk and the first parameter that this method takes is the directory into which we want to store so remember we are storing everything that is publicly accessible into our public directory so we'll go ahead and create another directory and we'll call that avatars so that we'll store all the avatars of the users into that directory so let's go ahead to our storage in our storage and in our public we'll go ahead and create another directory we'll call that avatars okay so every uploaded file is going to be saved in the avatar and why i put this like this is because the what this store method returns is actually the path the path and the name to this file that we just uploaded so that we'll be storing the avatar the avatar database field is going to be updated and it's going to receive the new name and path to the file that we just uploaded okay so let's go ahead and try that out hopefully it should work and the name and about me stays the same okay so that seemed like it worked and there we have it we have an image that has just been uploaded okay so the user can actually now change his avatar and let's just have a recap here so if I go to edit my profile first I have an upload field and this upload field is called avatar that we precised in our edit.blade.php and we are accepting only images so the name is called avatar so then we go to our profiles controller we make sure that the request has a file of avatar and if that request has a file of avatar we make sure that we are updating the information of the authenticated user and we apply the update to the avatar field and we are updating the avatar field to the link or the directory into which the new file is uploaded it means we are doing two things here first we are uploading the file and then we are updating it so uploading the file is simply calling the store method on the file that we have, it's been uploaded and this avatar right here is the name field that we precise in our edit.blade.php so it uploads it, uploads it to the public avatars directory and if you go ahead and check that directory right now in the public avatars we discover that we have a new file which was the file that we uploaded so it uploads that and it returns the name of the file and it stores that in our avatars field in the database 